All right, guys, we are getting through this thing. It is Wednesday, March 25th, and we're gonna brief you on today's workout. We've got two components again today. We've got our strength piece, and then we've got our conditioning element as well. Okay, the strength piece goes like this. We're gonna go through seven rounds of a 15 to 45 second handstand hold, depending on what you have in your fitness. We'll show you the conditioning piece here in just a little bit. All right, here's the thing about handstand holds. If you know you got a handstand, go for it. If you don't got a handstand, don't worry about it. We're gonna show you how you can modify that. But the key with any of this higher skill gymnastic stuff is understand where you're at and where you're coming into these movements so that that way you're not falling on your face or any of that other stuff that you could potentially do if you don't have this stuff yet. Okay, there's safer ways to get there. Let's show it to you how we want it done. If you're just a, a, a gymnast wizard and you can do these things without any help and find a balance point just out in space, then this is the first way that we want you to do it. Okay, if you've got that. If not, then you can just find a, a if you've got a partner or an SO or somebody like that that can just kind of prop you up a little bit, somebody that knows what they're doing, and just kind of help you balance. Try to use them as little as possible. Try to really use this as an opportunity to practice balancing on your own. So if you're spotting somebody, I can you can notice I'm just kind of keeping Brett balanced. I'm not holding him. He's fighting for this balance, and he's getting better as a result of that. Okay, go ahead and come on down. If you need to kick up against the wall, that's cool. A tree works, whatever you got, okay? If you don't have handstands in your fitness, what we can do is we can develop a lot of that shoulder strength just by simply doing a pike. We're gonna try to get ourselves as inverted as possible here. It requires a lot of hamstring mobility to get into the position that Brett's in right now. So just keep that in mind, okay? It's something that uh, we want you to reach for is to try to get straight up and down. Okay, if you don't have that, then just come down to the ground and we're just gonna hold our plane. Okay, this is exactly what a handstand hold feels like when, uh, if you don't have a handstand in your fitness. This is exactly the same sensation, same feeling. Okay, go ahead and come on up. Only difference might be rather than feeling it more on the top of the shoulders on a handstand hold, we're just gonna feel it a little bit more on the front of the shoulders, but it's still developing good strength for all of us. So go with what you got. And again, 15 to 45 seconds, depending on what is good and relevant for you. All right. The conditioning piece, it starts with 40 burpees, and then we're gonna go through four rounds of 20 alternating dumbbell snatch and 20 box jump overs. Okay, and then it finishes off with 40 burpees. This is what we call a sandwich style workout where we've got uh, you know, the burpees, and then we've got a bunch of stuff in the middle, and then we got the burpees to finish things off. Okay, so let's show it to you. The burpee, pretty straightforward. Get on the ground, get up. If you can't hop down, then just go ahead and step down. Just do it naturally. What we do want those, we want the elbows to be in the whole time. All right? Um, our alternating one-arm dumbbell snatch. We had a lot of practice on the dumbbell yesterday, uh, but we're going to do it again. So it's a power snatch. And we're just alternating, which means we're going to handle pass it every single time on the way down. All right? When we start the rep, feet flat on the ground, knees and toes go in the same direction, belly tight, hips below the shoulders, slow to the knee, then jump hard. That's all it is. It's just a jump, slow to the knee to set it up, and then jump naturally, okay? Uh, on our box jump overs, again, this is gonna be a really cool opportunity for you guys to get creative. We saw a lot of fun stuff from like people putting coolers down there that had beers in them that they could enjoy after they were done. You know, just get creative with this thing, have fun, but find some sort of box and you're gonna jump over it, okay? You can jump on it and over it, that's fine. You can step on it and over it, or you can jump all the way over it, however you like. You can even go laterally if you like. Just have fun with this. Go with the, the, the stimulus that's gonna engage you and be fun, and change it up so that you keep the intensity high in your workout. All right guys, keep it up, you are doing great.